Welcome to another VAC Throwback Thursday. In this episode, we're going to talk about an oldie and a goodie, the S14 engine. This particular S14 engine was built as a two liter and it was built as an upright engine for midget racers. On the intake side, we actually have a Hillborn mechanical fuel injection on it. This engine was built probably about uh, 20 years ago. This thing on the dyno at that time made 325 brake horsepower on an engine dyno. So what we're going to talk about on this particular engine, what we're trying to feature here, is the dry sump kit. The, I want to give some technical explanation on, on how the basic function of a dry sump pump is. So the dry sump pump eliminates your original oil pump, which is in the pan, which is called a wet sump. The dry sump pan over here really doesn't hold capacity. Everything goes back to a tank. There's a remote tank where the oil is stored. The pump sucks it in. Then it goes pressure out into a filter and then into a cooler and then back into the engine. What you have here, these lines are the scavenge lines. These siphon and suck, they create vacuum in the crankcase and they draw the oil back into the pump, which is internally manifolded and then gets to return back to the tank. What you see back here is actually a fuel pump for the mechanical injection. And these will get three fuel lines with return and, and it feeds the injectors on this side. So that's what you're looking at here. But the basic layout of a, a dry sump pump and, and the, the benefits of it is that you have constant oil pressure, it's belt driven, and you can control your capacity. Most tanks that we run are three gallon to four gallon tanks, and they're usually 50% to 75% filled. And therefore you have really good capacity, good lubrication, good positive lubrication. You can control your pressure and control the uh, life of your engine. Dry sumps, when the rules allow, are the way to go. It's the, best, it's the best insurance for your engine. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button and follow VAC Motorsports.